So here I am at the Birmingham airport. About to make my way to Denver, Colorado. So my first stop is going to be in Dallas. So I'm gonna fly to Dallas and then from Dallas I'm going to Denver. I'm getting ready to drive for another company. And I told myself that I was done with driving for companies. Uh, Martin Enterprises was going to be the last one. In fact, while I was with Martin Enterprises, I met a guy that dealt with Navajo Express. Matter of fact, if you go to uh, Navajo Express YouTube channel, and I'll show you all a picture of the guy that I talked to when I was out and about at that point in time. Matter of fact, I was in the middle of doing a 34 hour reset for Martin Enterprise, and I had like 40 something plus hours on my damn 70, but you know, whatever. So I met that guy. So to test the waters, you know, I told my two friends about it. Both of them went over there and sure enough, everything that dude said just, just added up nicely. Dude screenshotted me his, uh, how much the law was paying, he screenshot that. He showed me that stuff, sent it to me and you get 65% of the low. And I was like, golly. Now, mind you, when I was with the other truck company, some low loads would be like a few hundred dollars and, and 98 some dollars, 50 some dollars and stuff like that. I'm like, something ain't right. That just, it can't be that bad. It can't be. But it was, it was horrible. And I wasn't leasing a truck. That just for me driving for a company. But even so, that was just, no, uh-uh. I most definitely felt like I was being cheated based off what that woman told us in orientation for sure. But she was like, man, y'all ain't even gotta run that hard to make money. So, as you all just saw in that other video, and if you brand new to this particular video, just go back to that and you'll see what I'm talking about. Right now, the airport is like crazy empty. The lady got on the PA system not too long ago, she was saying that we won't be able to take off till about 425, which that's what it says on my schedule anyway. So, that wasn't no shock at all. So. There she is. I think it's time for me to take it to the next level and get my damn pilot license. I won't be able to fly that, but I can fly one of those Icon A5s though. And those classes ain't all that cheap for real. Look at it. Every time I fly, I'm always on the Southwest. I have a problem with it, but I'm just fascinated with stuff like that. I was meant to be a pilot. So I'm over here at Dallas now. Hopefully when I get on this airplane heading to Denver, that I get a chance to get a damn window seat. You guys, you all set? All right, you too. Spot. I can't see the mechanics right here. I can see the big ass turbine though, but hey. So here it is. Almost 11. And I touch bases here in Denver. Wait. Gotta catch a train.
pretty nice hotel. Let's see, 105. Double bed. Bam. There we go. 11.13 right now. Okay. Hell yeah. Because I don't have the, the plug-in port, but they got the USB style as well. This thing about me is pretty badass. July 20th. All right. It's orientation time. Now, let's see how good the breakfast is over here. Now, sadly, <laughs> since I'm over in Denver, I'm far away from the South and people in this area, man, just don't understand grits. I was already told I don't even have grits here. What the hell are with people over here? Damn, the spot nice. If you had grits, that'd have been perfect. Let's see how deep this swimming pool is. Let me see. I don't see no diving board, so can't be all that deep. But damn, it look pretty nice right here. Let y'all know how this works. Basically, you're gonna start from the front of the truck. They drop it like it hot. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> the only thing I hate is that these trucks turn down. That's with everybody. I can't stand that. Uh, it's not really all about the high speed, but I can't stand getting into a damn two hour long drag race trying to pass some damn body. Right. Because you'll be 65 miles, you'll be 65.2 miles per hour, and then they'll be right at 65 miles per hour. So now you got big ass traffic behind you while you're trying to get on. Because you ain't going to stop because you want your momentum to keep going too. Somebody you know? like crazy, you know, hell, getting by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that joke is just sitting there, just chilling. Doing the thing. Uh, they were know nothing right there. Look, it's right there up under that boat right there. I'll throw me a rooster tail out there and snatch all of them. Alrighty. Let me just tell you all this real quick. If you're brand new, right? You come to Navajo and you don't know, and you're looking for a store to go to, Walmart is five something miles away so if you're lazy well so much for walmart 7-eleven is over there and family dollar is somewhere over here at this little shopping plaza i believe i see the sign right there shopping center so it's somewhere over here i am approaching the bridge that i had to cross in the first place to get over here you gonna see that sign right west 48th street right over there <laughs> if you are afraid of heights well you know that's gonna count you out also Ooh, that's a drop man oh yeah that's a drop thinking both company drivers and of course lease drivers have to you know run out that because i'm thinking your loads will pop up on your cell phone so it's probably the whole meaning of that but go ahead and download it all right here
now I'm pretty much at the hotel that I'm staying at from this point. Now, I've already done uh, the agility tests, the backing tests, and the road test. Here it is, July 20th. All of those things are completed. Paperwork is completed. There's uh, one other piece of paperwork to go through, but we're not gonna do that until Wednesday. But, for the most part, <laughs> I'm pretty much done. I think there's like a couple of videos they may have us watching in the classroom. Maybe, possibly, slight chance, but we'll see what happens tomorrow, because there's pretty much not much to do tomorrow. <laughs> kind of crammed up a good amount of stuff in one day. I can also tell you, there's not a whole lot of paperwork action with this company. I know of all the other truck companies I went to, it's like <laughs> paperwork on top of paperwork on top of paperwork. I mean, you feel like you're buying a few trucks plus the damn building. Over here, uh, it's not much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it's cut in half. It's a lot less than half compared to the other carriers. All right, that's it for this video. <laughs> this video is pretty long, but at least you got the, the whole scoop on the uh, day one situation. Day two is gonna be super laid back. Day three, I should be up out of here around 12, possibly no later than two. And I'm out there on the highway, seeing if I can, see if I can make money my way. Most definitely way better than the, you know what, whatever. I'm, just, I'm gonna let that go. I ain't you know, it, it just, I don't even worry about that. It is what it is. And here it is, everybody.